Welcome to the Introduction to Blackboard for Faculty. Grand Rapids Community College uses Blackboard version 9.1 as their course management system to run online courses as well as to enhance face-to-face -face courses. This introduction will give you a brief overview to Blackboard and show you how to add your syllabus and contact information to a course. There are two easy ways to access Blackboard. The first if you open an internet browser and go to the GRCC homepage, there is a link about halfway down to Blackboard. Or you can simply type in bb.grcc.edu in the address bar of your internet browser. This is the Blackboard homepage. We highly recommend that you use Mozilla Firefox to access Blackboard because there are far fewer errors with this browser. In the browser test area on the left, there is a link to download the latest version of Firefox if you don't currently have it on your machine. You may also click on the Test Your Browser if you're not sure if you have everything set up for Blackboard to work properly. I also want to draw your attention to the Important Notices area. Anytime there is scheduled downtime for the system, an announcement will be posted here so you know ahead of time that Blackboard will be unavailable. Log in here with your GRCC campus username and password. After you log into Blackboard, you will be taken to the My BB tab. This page is updated periodically throughout the school year with important announcements and information. You'll find links to help resources in this yellow area in the My Courses channel right above your course listing. Click on the name of a course to access it. This course is set up exactly as any brand new course you will have is set up. You'll notice that the course is completely blank and it does have a course menu already set up with some of the most common elements in Blackboard. I want to point out the edit button in the upper right hand corner. When edit mode is on, such as it is now, you're free to add files, create new content areas, rearrange items, and you can see small gray icons such as these arrows and these chevrons which allow you to do these. If you turn edit mode off, you can view the course as your student would. You'll notice that all of the small gray icons are gone and some of the empty areas from your course menu are also not visible to your students at this time. Let's turn edit mode back on and get your course up and running. The two most important things you can do in your course to help your students, as well as to meet the minimum AGC requirements, are to upload your syllabus and add your contact information. Let's click on course information to add your syllabus. This will bring up an empty content area. A content area is just a fancy name for a folder and you can add various files and links to tools in Blackboard in a content area. We'll click on the Build Content button and then click on File. Click on Browse My Computer to search for where your syllabus is saved. And once you locate it, just click on it to highlight it and then click Open. Blackboard will automatically name your file whatever you have saved it as. This is how the link will be named for your students to click on the syllabus and access it. So if there's information here that doesn't make sense, like the dot doc or is irrelevant, you can rename it by just clicking in the name field and typing in the words you'd like to appear. Then just scroll down. You always want to check under options that it's set to permit users to view this content. In this case, we already have it set to yes, so we'll just hit submit. And you see a green success message here and your syllabus has now been added. Next, click on staff information to add your contact information. Click on create contact. We're just gonna go through this form to provide the information you wanna give your students. The only field here that is required is the email field. 
and I know that because there's an orange star next to it. So you can add as many or as few of these fields as you want. I'm definitely going to put in my name, email, and my phone number. You can type in your office location as well as your office hours. If you had other important information, let's say you're using Blackboard IM, or maybe it's easiest for students to get a hold of you by email or by phone, you can put that information here. Under Options, you have to click Yes to make the profile available. Otherwise, your students won't view this content. If you wanted to add an image, you could click Browse here, locate a picture on your computer, and add it here. And if you have a GRCC web page, you could add that here for your students. I'll type mine in. And then just click Submit. Again, you see a green success message. Let's go ahead and turn edit mode off and just double check that your students can access both the syllabus and your contact information. I'm going to click on course information and then syllabus. And I did upload my syllabus as a Word document and you'll see it opened. And then if I click on staff information, I see my contact card. That's all there is to it. If you need more information, you can also contact Distance Learning and Instructional Technologies either at dlit at grcc.edu or by calling 234-3205. We also have a lot of tip sheets and video tutorials available on our website at www.grcc.edu slash learnbb. If you're having any technical issues with Blackboard, such as problems with your password or accessing a file, contact technical support at ithelp at grcc.edu or by calling 234-4358.